Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 46 of Darwell20's Omnifactory Let's Play series, where I'm using a crazy amount of power. Uh, we're producing a lot of power, which is always nice, but we're also using a lot of power, which is slightly less nice, but it's still okay. Um, I've got decent amounts of refinery, gas, and biofuel going on in here. Let's see what my stats are. Currently 1,200 buckets of biofuel. That's pretty awesome. Refinery gas, we're rapidly depleting at the moment because we're burning a lot of fuel, but that's okay. It, it, it gets restocked at a pretty decent rate, and we still have 400 buckets with it, so we'll be all right for a little bit. But right now, we're burning 15,000 R of a tick. It's a lot. It's a lot. It'll bump up to 20,000 probably soon. Yeah, there it goes. Yep, yep, cooking right up almost to the 25, which I think is what the end steel uh, conduits can do, right? Is that the cap on end steel conduits? 32. Okay, cool. 32. So now we're getting close, right? Now it's it's going back up because we have this whole thing set up, remember? Like, he only outputs power when he gets low enough to, right? And, the, and these guys are doing their job. So... What I do between episodes, I upgraded to some extreme voltage stuff. So we, we definitely touched on the advanced fluid assembler and the advanced assembly machines. I wanted to speed these guys up because they were super slow at producing all the resources that we frequently need, right? Like, even though I'm keeping in stock a healthy amount um, of, of microprocessor arrays and all that stuff, right? So this is your tier one circuit. This is your fourth and final tier two circuit. This is your third tier three circuit. And this is your tier four circuit. We're not keeping in stock tier five circuits yet, okay? Uh, but we might eventually. And you notice a pattern that I did on these, right? Like a little bit, a little bit of a pattern. We're also keeping the circuit boards in stock. So what kind of other extreme voltage stuff did we set up uh, between episodes? I think I threw an uh, advanced compressor in here to kind of speed up our plate production, right? Because that's always kind of a, a nice thing to have, right? So if I wanted like, uh, I don't know what some plates that I typically use, aluminum, for example. I don't know, I'll just make 10 more of these. See how quick it is? Super nice, super nice. Granted, it draws a lot of power, but it's pretty nice nonetheless. Um, I also rearranged, so remember before I used to have my universal macerator, this is the HV, high voltage version of the thing. And I was just constantly like processing ores the same. So I changed up a little bit of the setup here. Um, I've got now an extreme voltage, universal pulverizer, right? So universal macerator, universal pulverizer is the um, EV version, right? Extreme voltage, universal pulverizer, cool. So he's processing his ores. He auto outputs to the right side and he crushed stuff. And sometimes we may or may not get some crushed in here. Yeah, we totally got some crushed salt and rock salt ore. That's okay. Um, we'll, you know, export bust that or something at some point. Probably set that up pretty quickly, actually. Um, and, and I'll just deal with that as it is. It's basically because these things run at almost the same speed, and this gives you 2x, and this gives you 1x. Well, actually, for salt, it gives you way more than that. It gives you, like, 6x. <laughs> yeah, good times. These guys are using a lot of power, and that's a significant drain on my power right now, which is why we have such a huge amount of power output going on. It's because both of these are running, and we've also got our molecular separator here, which is basically the next version of the centrifuge. So remember I kept having uh, centrifuge issues because I was feeding items in to the same centrifuge that I used for auto crafting. So like I set that up, molecular separator is the EV, the extreme voltage version of the centrifuge to keep that going. Cool. Um, so hey, can I have some impure salts? That would be super spiffy because I want to get you export busing. Thanks, chief. Neat. And the reason I want to do that is so that this guy can keep producing chlorine for me. So chlorine is something we keep running low on because we're burning a lot of it um, to do this, right? Every time I come over here to look, I'm like, oh, I'm low on chlorine. Cool. And by the way, this is using lots and lots of power. So overall power, I'm doing okay. I'm actually doing really good. One of the other things I did is I, I bumped the vibrant cables back here to 16 and I added four more diesel gens because remember how much biodiesel I said I had? A lot. Cool. So we're actually doing really good on biodiesel. And don't forget that he will also export regular diesel when biodiesel runs out, of which we have 4,000 buckets. So we got 1,100 buckets of biodiesel and 4,000 buckets of diesel. In terms of power, we're doing okay in terms of generation of, of fuel, right? I only left the four um, gas turbines over here. Uh, and I could technically add four more. Not sure that I want to, though, because I'm burning a lot of refinery gas. And here's the deal. Remember, the alternate for that was naphtha? Well, we don't have a lot of naphtha, 
actual, actually, actually, um, we don't have hardly any naphtha. Um, and the reason is that's used to make this stuff. Remember, one of these machines needs naphtha. And guess what? That's the one that we're a little bit low on. Um, which one is this? Uh, I think it's this one that needs naphtha. Glycerol and a chemical reactor. Uh, no, maybe not. Which one export bust naphtha? Boop, boop, boop. This one. This one's the naphtha. Yes, nitrogen, epichlorogen. Yep, naphtha. So we need three buckets of naphtha. Three buckets of naphtha for two epoxy resins. That's a lot of naphtha, right? Nitrogen dioxide, not a big deal. Epichlorogen, it's 144, becomes 248. This is 3,000, becomes 288. So the amount of naphtha we need to keep our epoxy resin going is actually pretty extreme. It's a lot of naphtha. So I took naphtha off the export bus because remember we can burn naphtha inside these gas turbines, but I took that off. So now the only thing in here is refinery gas that can be exported into the tank. Um, so that's where we're at, right? Like that's pretty cool. I think that's I think that's a smart approach. Um, yeah, I think it's actually going really well. So power we're doing okay on. The only other upgrade that I did between episodes was we were running. This thing was running too slow for me. So I did adjust a little bit here. We threw a P2P tunnel on an HV CEF. So convert um, RF to Greg Tech EU units and made this an HV energy input hatch. I also have an EV energy input hatch and an EV CEF, but the amount of power it drains is shenanigans. And uh, I just can't support it at the moment. So like I put it on there thinking like this would be smart and it wasn't that smart. It does process oil very quickly. In fact, with EV on there, it overwhelmed my production of oil in the advanced electrolyzer. Through I, so I threw a second advanced electrolyzer on there so that like we'd have two oil sands to oil producers, which, you know, was good until I completely ran out of power. And I mean, like literally this entire thing was empty in no time flat. So I was like, well, better roll back from EV to HV, right? And then we'll see what happens from there. So overall, that's where we're at, right? A little bit of between camera work, basically just upgrading machines for the sake of speeding them up, right? Um, which is cool. Totally cool, right? Hey, good, you're almost done, which is a good sign. Uh, is my export busser here? Good. I would like you to also export bus um, some crushed stuff, if you don't mind. That would be super spiffy. Capacity card would also be nice, so that I can tell you about both types of things that I want exported. Cool. So when you're done pulverizing all your salt ore, all the extra salt ore that didn't make it in there, that's still in the crushed version of it, is gonna be export bust right into the pulverizer, and that should be cool. Um, I think I also made another ME drive and threw some more cells on there, made sure to set the priority lower than the other one so that you know it'll fill this one up first before it even starts touching this one, but that's just future thinking, right? Planning ahead. Um, so we should have actually a decent amount of salt going on, which is nice. Uh, let's look at quests because uh, at this point, like I feel like we're in really good shape with some stuff. Um, I did grab some palladium. I went looking around the world for platinum and palladium, and holy cow, did I find a stupidly small amount of this stuff. Like, I literally spent 45 minutes exploring the world. I found two veins that had less than 20 of each. Like, they were super tiny. So I don't know if, like, that's just the way they generate in the overworld, if there's a better place to get them, but they're super rare, so we're going to have to figure out what the deal is with palladium and platinum, right? Um, and then, you know, we were looking at what's kind of next here. Um, so I want to kind of knock out a few more quests. I also should really look into doing a cobble works, right? Cobblestone to gravel, to sand, to clay, to dust, to, to clay. Wait, did I do that? Cobblestone to gravel, to sand, to dust, to clay. And then the clay would ideally, um, turn into these things. What I should probably be doing is keeping this guy running at all times, right? Um, he should really be running like all the time and producing like crazy amounts of ender pearls you can see i did uh i did some of this one a little bit too just to get myself some more blaze rods because like i don't even know another idea by the way that i that i that i thought of would be don't emeralds numismatic generator produces two million huh diamond 1.2 million rf per diamond 
with the lapidary thingy. And I can get those from shulkers, huh? If I got shulker, that might not be a bad way to generate power. I don't know. It might be silly. It might be silly, considering my diesel is actually in really good shape. So we'll see. I was just kind of poking around at ideas of like, how can I generate other forms of power? But I think we're also, now that we're in EV mode, going to be able to get like a multi-block diesel generator, which might be even better in terms of burning uh, our biodiesel and our diesel, which will produce even more power, which will be even more better, right? More better. Uh, so let's look at quests, right? So one of the next things we needed to do, we completed Palladium, right? I would also also like to get into this stuff because this will allow me to get into something that I want. I forget what. Liz powder uh, turns into that. There's something I want to get here that needs like all of these. Yeah, mana dust. Cool. And that turns into primal mana, which is what we need to get signalum. Right. So if I wanted to get to signalum tier or lumium or enderium or mana infused, right? That's right. And I know I wanted this now. Conduits. The next tier after 32 is going to be 64. I would think maybe it's 131. Is that it? Lumium energy is next, followed by Signalum, followed by some crazier numbers, Draconium and Superconductor. So if we want to boost beyond the 32,000 R of a tick limit, we're going to need Signalum. That's and that's going to be 524 or Lumium, which is 131. We'll figure out which one we want to go with, right? But I'm assuming that yeah, that requires Lumium, right? So that's that's a thing we're going to want to keep an eye on. So that kind of covers everything we did. So let's do this. What I want to work on right now is continuing quest progression and see what some of these um, quests over here on the left-hand side are. I also need to get to that Cobbleworks thing, like I said, and a few other whatchamacallits, right? So carbon fibers is something I think we should be looking at. So that needs one millibucket of palladium. So palladium was super rare, but to be fair, we're going to get uh, a lot of use out of one ingot, right? So that's going to need an autoclave. So I think I've got an auto cave and a fluid extractor here, right? So let's see what's up. So palladium dust, which by the way, I, I pulverized my way out of in the standard process of pulverize to pulverize to impure to centrifuge. It takes a really long time to centrifuge that, by the way. Just noting that uh, 21 seconds, really long time in a, in a standard speed one. Uh, so that was definitely another reason that I got the faster centrifuge, because yeah. Right. Um, so let's melt this down into the autoclave that we have upstairs just so we can complete the quest. Right. And then we'll figure out, right, what's what's involved here. So we're going to need some carbon dust, which we have one of. Right. So zoop, 143 palladium remains, raw carbon fibers, quest complete. No idea what these are going to be used for and how many of them we're going to need. So I may set up an automation thing at some point, but we're gonna be a little careful with it just because like I said, palladium looks like I have a lot. I don't have a lot, okay? Trust me on that. It's it's super rare. How did I do on platinum, by the way? I never actually checked to see how well I did. I mean, actually better than I would think, right? Uh, how do I process you? You just smelt straight up, okay. I should probably throw this platinum dust like right into this dude, which I didn't upgrade. Also, I've been seeing some comments. There's apparently a multi-block of some kind of furnace that can smelt multiple ingots at once in Greg Tech. I need to go look into that a little bit. Um, but the next thing you wanted me to get was an HV chemical reactor, which I think I've got one right here. Yeah, that's this dude. Um, why don't I get a tank? Sulfuric acid, huh? I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn you off for a minute so that I can do this, so that I can pick you up, so that I can quest complete. Cool. And then I can put you right back, and I can put you right back, and I can put you right back. Cool. And then you should be filling back up. Yay. Now, did that guy? He probably does, actually. So I should be I should be aware of the fact that what I did was just mess up some of my automation. Uh, I need you back because I probably have to set you to auto output again. Allow input from output side. That's 100%. 
we gotta re reset that up because if I don't, it's gonna break all the things. All right, so with that quest complete, cool. Uh, that leads to titanium tetrachloride. Oh, hey, what's up, my old friend? <laughs> We've done some of this already, I see. Uh, you, how you doing, chief? All right, let's get up here. I'm going to empty this bucket. We're going to just get our titanium tetrachloride. If I can catch it fast enough, that would be cool. I don't know if I can. We'll find out. Hooray, I did it. Sweet. Quest complete. Okay. So, at this point, I'm just knocking through some quests, right? Float them out. There you go. And then you're going to process that pretty quickly, and I'm going to try and catch the hot real fast here. Did you quest complete on me or what? Oh, <laughs> that was the way to do it. Neat. Um, and let's claim reward on you. That's cool. And then titanium, obviously, we have. You know, we that we've been we've been cooking right well on there. So I did these parts without actually completing the quests through them. So the second tier four circuits, microprocessor array, boom. Cool. And then uh, the next guy is going to be microprocessor mainframe, which we should be able to auto craft, no problem. Sweet. Look at how quickly all my auto crafting goes now that I've upgraded a lot of things to EV tier. It's really actually pretty nice um, how much faster some things cook. Like, super nice, right? Even these guys, I upgraded the uh, laser engravers because they were a really slow bit. And the cutting machines, they were also a really slow bit. One of the problems I'm having, though, is that the machines further up the line totally kill the power on the machines further down the line, which is okay, because I don't want my pulverizers to be preventing my auto crafting. Like, these are only really supposed to run when we got nothing better to do, right? The reason for that is that I've really only got HV tier in this, and this is an EV guy. I should have Lapitron crystals in this thing, and I just haven't gotten around to figuring out how to make those yet. I'm assuming that they're not too crazy, but yeah, you never know. Oh yeah, you need to, you probably need to do some work. Cool. Okay. Nice. Gallium plate is crafting, crafting, crafting. See, look how quick it is. This is the tier five one. This is like, you know, the one that takes a while. And those are the faster ones. So much better with EV tier, right? So much better. 100% recommended going that route. So I don't really understand what the carbon fibers were for. I don't know that I, I've never used them before. Nano CPUs? Ooh, I think those make things a lot better for me. What do nano CPUs look like? Um, boom. So that is a cutting saw from a nano CPU wafer. Ah, okay. Chemical reactor with energized glowstone. Okay. And that's just regular glowstone in a fluid extractor. We might want to consider that. Raw carbon fibers, we need a decent amount of these, but nano CPU wafers are actually pretty nice, I think. Because um, they can turn into nano CPUs, which I think, oh, look at that, gives me some stuff. And it also gives you the fourth and final tier three circuit, which I think is a cheaper recipe, but it looks like we need fiber reinforced as well. I remember seeing these and realizing like, remember how like basically each time you, you get a better and cheaper version of the the, Circuits, wow, that's cool, right? So super cheaper, right? The fourth and final tier four circuit, um, that needs a nano CPU and a qubit CPU, okay? Which is a quantum I or iridium gallium phosphide and radium, <laughs> okay. <laughs> gallium arsenide and nano CPU and a quantum I. Holy cow, that's some things. Okay, micro universe projector tier eight. I don't think I'm getting that one anytime soon. That one's gonna be a little little bit of a ways off. But still cool, still cool. Uh, I might wanna look into that one, all right? Um, titanium is complete, titanium heavy plating. 
Titanium heavy plating is what? Two titanium plate and a compressor. I don't know what that's all gonna be used for, but can I get two titanium plate? Should be a quick craft because like I said, I sped these things up and then compressor that bad boy. And that should be a titanium heavy plating. And we'll add it to the auto crafting list as needed, right? So give me all your rewards, buddy. Boop, boop. And that's pretty cool. Okay. So that leads to the tier two micro miner. Got it. So I've been kind of looking at these micro miners, right? Um, so like the tier one, right, we said was this guy. And that gets me iron and tin, redstone and nickel, and some rutile, uranite, galena, moon turf, dilithium ore. Not too shabby. Um, the tier two... Micro miner, right? Same small microverse projection, same quantum flux, more rocket fuel, right? Because this one is 8,000, where the tier two is 12,000 rocket fuel. That gets me bauxite and copper and shielite and tungsten state and radium salt, which I don't know what that's for, and cassiterite. All right, so that's a lot of stuff, right? And then tier three, and I think these are the ones that I'm going to really just have available to me right now. Um, that one, 20 buckets of rocket fuel, right? Um, and, and with a basic quantum chest, that's one of the ingredients, okay? Shielite and tungstate and tetrahedrite and copper and rutile, cassiterite, redstone. So I don't know about this. I don't know about this. It just seems like an awful lot of crafting. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of stuff. That I don't know if it's worth it. I honestly don't. Um, maybe there's things in here that I can't get otherwise, Right, silver, gold, or right, that's, I don't see that. I think my, my regular mining operation that I got going on now, while slower for sure, is probably a little bit more ideal. Just knocking out a few more quests here, which is cool. Uh, the microprocessor. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna get on board with the microverse stuff, not yet at least, not yet. Now that might be a mistake, I honestly don't know. I don't. EV event assembler, the advanced assembly machine. Yes, I've got one of those. Problem is you have a bunch of soldering alloy in you, but I should be able to take that out, right? Hooray. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing again over here, which is gonna be, hey, do the thing properly, chief. There you go. Nice, so you should be happy, you should be good, you should be done. And then let's not forget to make sure that you're outputting again and you're accepting input from the output side. Because if I don't hook that back up, then we're in trouble. Cool, much better. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, I did a lot of things outside the quests by mistake. Probably because I think, I feel like... Okay, it wanted me to get carbon fibers before I did the HV chemical reactor, but I didn't need them to make the HV chemical reactor. So that's why. That's why I did everything out of order, kind of. Um, but what I definitely want to look at is this fiber-reinforced epoxy resin sheet and fiber-reinforced circuit board, because that might make for even cheaper circuits, which would be cool. And then look, we have access to our EV power storage now, so a Lapitron crystal. Why don't I try and get four of those? What would be involved in making these bad boys? Not a terrible looking crafting recipe. Lazurite plate, lapis plates, and sodalite plates. Cool beans. Looks neat. Let's get some, uh, can we auto craft these? What are the chances? Because I remember in IC2, Lapitron crystals and the like were always such a hassle. Now lap lapis plates, we already have an auto craft, right? Um, and yes, microprocessors, third tier three circuit. That's the one I've got in hand already, right? Energy crystals is energium dust with distilled water. Oh, I almost got excited because I thought that was regular water. <sighs> 75 seconds with MV autoclaves. Wow. It's going to take a little bit. What's distilled water look like? Uh, water in a distillery. All right, never mind. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. <laughs> Not a big deal at all. Water in a distillery, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Basic distillery, I will probably do AV. We'll probably do medium voltage, right? Um, and then uh, energium dust, 
we're gonna need uh we've got ruby dust already right and redstone ruby we've got ruby dust and redstone all right cool so let's get energium dust added to our mixer because i'm pretty sure we have a mixer right yes we do cool okay and then you are gonna go into some molecular assemblers which look cool and then we just need an autoclave and a distillery right so let's make a quick distillery with mv pump and hull mv pump and hull we're gonna want two of these right an autoclave and i'm gonna want another mv pump as well and then we're also gonna want the autoclave probably the mv version of that is going to need another pump for a total of three cool all right how's this stuff cooking right along nice not bad at all loving the faster auto crafting right how great is that so we want one distillery which needs copper cables which should also be a little bit faster because I think uh, did I mention that I did I do that on camera or off camera I might have done that off camera that's a little faster right it's nice right so distillery autoclave and then my pump please All right and then we're gonna want an export bus for fluids and this is gonna be a medium voltage line so I have to figure out where I'm gonna put this thing but it shouldn't be too hard to find uh, a spot for that and then we're also going to want an interface. Not the fluid one, the regular one. Hey, what are you missing? Refined processor. Right. So which part of the interface do you need a refined processor on? Probably the robot arm? Yes. Let's get the arm recipe. If I pop this dude in here and we say allow or dictionary substitutions and rewrite it. Are you cool now? You are, look at that, nice, huh? So that's what I've been doing to fix my recipes. All right, let's go down here and figure out where we're gonna build this. Um, Cause there's definitely some machines we're not using so much anymore. So uh, I definitely did the similar setup with rubber um, and my advanced fluid extractor. So I moved my rubber productor over here. Uh, chemical reactor, these guys make all my stuffs, right? Yeah, you're, in, you're important, you need to stay. What may, maybe doesn't have any MV stuff going on right now? I bet this line's still MV. He is, right? Yes, energetic alloy cable. That's generally a sign that we're on MV still. Cool. So we're going to have the advanced distillery here, okay, with a fluid pump here. And then we're going to have the autoclave here. And you're going to have this guy with a cable. Actually, I can get a bucket of water right there. Cool. Now, if I want distilled water, we're gonna want program circuit zero. Boom, and you should be distilling water for me now and dumping the distilled water right into the autoclave. Cool. Beans. And you should be doing your thing, right? So you should be Fluid export busing water, no problem, right? 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 Why aren't you... Ah, yeah, I know why. Boop, boop. Now you should be fluid export busing water. Nice. Much better. We'll, dis we'll debate if we need an acceleration card in there, but I'm thinking not so much. I think we'll be all right. Right? So now your interface, which you so nicely crafted for me while I was working, uh, this gets disconnected because you're not actually going to be messing with stuff. Wow, you are still crushing salt ore. I'm so pla I'm so pleased to see that salt ore still crushing. Refinery gas, still doing okay. Good. Um, so then the last thing we need is that this dude, which is this kind of recipe. That and that, right? And then hopefully a Lapatron crystal will not be too hard to ask for now. So could I ask for four of you? Looks like it's gonna work. The question is, 
will it be satisfied with the energium dust? Right? Uh, turning into energium, right? So how fast do you guys do that processing? You're a little slow. That's what I'm going to say about you, Advanced Mixer. You're a little slow. Right? Wow, is that slow. You... We may want to make extreme voltage. I guess it depends how many Lapatrons we're going to be getting. Actually, no, that's not bad, because it's not one at a time. It does nine at a time. So you're doing that, and you did your thing? Nice. Nice. He's autoclaving. Okay, that's not so bad, considering it does nine at a time, right? And the autoclave probably ain't going to be that bad either, um, because it's doing... I mean, it's slowish, right? Because what did we say it was? Like, a little over a minute? But that ain't bad. So the real question is, are you going to be happy with your energy crystal outputs? That's really the question that we're going to have answered here in a minute. Because remember, IC2 in the past, we've had issues with MBT. So I'm hoping this is better, right? Um, and this will fulfill the Lapatron crystal quest, which will be awesome. And it's also going to be nice because it'll mean I can throw Lapatrons in my EV guys, which would be pretty slick, honestly. That would be really cool to do. All right, nice. So down here, we've got the Slice and Splice and the Experience Obelisk. We've got Machine Holes. We've got Power Storage. We've got the Empower and Tungsten Carbide Heavy Plating and the Micro Miner. So that's some of the stuff we're going to be looking at. IV is uh, interesting. So did you fulfill your request? You did. Nice. That's awesome. That actually worked. That is cool. And you're not going to fill up or nothing, right? In my inventory, good. Quest complete. Beautiful. That is super cool. I like it. All right. Um, so clearly some other things we want to focus on, right? Um, before we really progress into IV. Because clearly power is a little bit of a rough thing right now. Not bad. Not bad. I'm doing okay on power. But I'm not doing stupid okay on power, right? <laughs> not not doing stupid okay on, on power. Ooh, a space station assembler, huh? Maybe. Build a sta space station and warp core, huh? We might we might be doing that. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out, right? Uh, I probably want to do some of this first. And then maybe even look into nuclear craft first. Definitely want to get that cobble works going. And there's definitely some more things I need to do over here. Like, I should knock out nitric acid for whatever reason. I'm not sure what that's going to be for. Let's knock out some of these quests here as well to figure out where it leads to, right? Glowstone doped monocrystalline silicon buell. That's a mouthful. And basic re reactor plating is your nuclear craft stuff, right? But maybe we knock these two guys out. So what's involved in making nitric acid? It's an electrolyzer or it's a chemical reactor between water and nitrogen dioxide. And it's a 240 EU chemical reactor. I don't know what nitric acid I the, the, I don't know what nitric acid is going to do for me, but it's nitrogen dioxide which we have 3 buckets of here no problem. Right, three buckets of nitrogen dioxide and one bucket of water. Gets me the nitric acid that we need. I just need an HV chemical reactor that's not currently filled with a bunch of liquids. Which I might have to just make an on-demand one. Because that thing totally needed HV, right? MV wouldn't do. Is it... Yeah, nitric acid. 240, right? Pretty sure that's HV for 512, right? Because it's 128 for MV? Or is it 256? Yeah, it's 128 for MV, right? So we will realistically want an HV reactor. Yeah, totally what we need. Uh, so let's get an HV machine motor and rotor hvu one of you hv machine hole none of this should take really long to make by the way it should be really quick cool 
stainless steel plates are a little slow because I think the stainless steel plates had to go through the extruder, didn't they? That's why you're slow still. Um, do I have like a spot where I could just pop this dude real quick? You're a vibrant alloy, right? Give me a quick 4x of that for me, buddy. I did, in fairness, burn a lot of vibrant alloys because, uh, oh, cool. Because I had uh, a lot going on with uh, that 16x guy. Okay, cool. So one, whoops, not that one. Two, three, and a single bucket of water. I just want to one off this, like I said, because not entirely sure what it's going to be used for. Nitric acid, chemical reactor, circuit three. And if I need a lot, then we can automate this here, right? Circuit three. Hey, I happen to have a circuit three. Nice. Not that it's hard to change, but you know. Quest complete. We'll see where that leads me. Don't let the EPA catch you making this stuff. Okay. That didn't unlock any more quests yet, so I'm not going to super automate it just yet. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. For now, we'll just hang on to those two buckets, and if we need it in the future, we need it in the future, right? So you need silicon dust, glowstone dust. Wow, that's a lot of silicon dust. Another reason to do a cobble works. Come on, Dyer, just do it. Just do the cobble works already. And argon. Remember argon? That's cryogenic air distillation of noble gases. Oh. So we've been collecting noble gas, right? Yes, we've got 218 buckets of noble gases because we get that from this bad boy, right? Who's still running, by the way, as far as I can tell. Yep, he's cooking right up, right? So he's actually still running, producing lots of stuff. I'm sure we're getting close to full on nitrogen. Was this guy my nitrogen? He might have been. He might have been. We're probably getting quite close to full on nitrogen, right? Uh, how's my Lapitron production going? We've got three. I don't know why it thinks it's done, though. Oh, that's right. It is done. Up, 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 up. Sweet. So that means my four of these can come out of here, and you guys can go fill up, right? And you're going to drain a lot of energy to do that. But once he's full, that'll probably be nice. Um, it'll just take a minute, right? Because you hold... Wow, is that 4 million EU? Ouch, that's going to take a while to fill up. But it'll be useful to keep my EV line going. Right? Definitely useful to have four batteries in there. It'll mean four machines can run without breaking a sweat. And it'll be a lot of battery buffer. It's only just filling up a buffer, right? So it's not going to be a big deal. Once this thing realizes that he's low... He should kick in and give me a boost, see? So we are still producing more power than we're exporting by spitting out, even filling these guys up. So we're fine. So here's the only thing I'm going to notice about the cryogenic air distillation. Uh, that's another one of these dudes, right? And if this guy's constantly working on making this gas, then we're probably not going to have a lot of space for him to make the other gases, right? Um... So that said, I suspect that, reasonably logically speaking, does that mean we're going to want another one of those dudes? How's this thing doing, by the way? Are you done mining? Yay. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, I have to clean all the stuff we mined. Yay for copper and cinnabar and redstone. Wow, that's a lot of redstone. Stibnite, ruby, tetrahedrite. Which is also copper, I believe, if I remember right. Yes, copper. Nice. Stibnite's actually nice, right? That's antimony? Yeah, which is used for batteries, among other things. I'm getting the hang of all these different things, right? Lots of cinnabar, which I forget your purpose. Forget what you do, besides making cinnabar. You can get me mercury. That's kind of cool, actually. We might need that at some point. I assume mercury is going to do something important. Um... Neat. I'm, I'm assuming that's going to play a role in the future. Lots more ruby ore, which is also nice. Um, so yeah, I have to do something about that. But we'll uh, we'll get there because one of the other things I need to do... Come here, you guys. Let's not forget that you exist. I'll transport all this in a minute. I, I actually, because I was low, 
on stuff. I, I kind of picked this dude up before he was done. So I want to get him back up and running. So reset, do your thing. So you can see that he like already mined out some things, but not, not a ton. Because uh, I need lots more salt. This was a salt mine, basically. And we'll see what else is down there. I forget like what Y level he was at when I stopped him, but I was kind of desperate for copper at the time. So, but now we're pretty good on copper, I think. Eh, better on copper, let's put it that way. We might have more, I don't know, we'll see. But guess what? It is unfortunately wrapping up for me. So let's do this. I'm gonna wrap up here. I wanna come back next episode and do a cobble works. Cause I think that's really gonna behoove me, right? Having more, like we're always low on silicon, if I'm being honest, right? Um, silicon dioxide dust looks like it's, we have a lot of it because the way I pulverize things, but like you should be exporting that here. Why do you keep putting random ores in there? You do silly things, buddy. But yes, now you should be groovy with silicon dioxide dust. Cool. Um, but let's come back next time and like properly set up sodium, uh, dust or, or, or silicon dust. And then, uh, we also need to get another cryogenic air dissolution, dude. Um, I wonder what else you can do. So you do liquid air into all the things we're doing, and you only other thing you do is noble gases. 53 buckets worth of them, by the way, to get argon, neon, helium, and krypton. So we need to keep in mind that we need that many inputs. So we need an input that's big enough for 53 millibuckets. That's a lot. It's a lot of noble gas, because we get such a small amount of noble gas from this. Noble gas, I think we get one bucket per 53. Wow, that's actually a really small amount. But it's probably a good idea to get that going now um, because, yeah, that's a thing we're going to want to do. So we have 221 buckets of noble gas, which is like about four iterations that we can run, maybe a little less. So maybe between episodes, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get myself another one of those cryogenic air distillation dudes, right? Uh, which I should, yes. So we're gonna want another one of you. We're gonna want another bunch of you. Luckily, I made these guys auto crafting, right? So that's nice. Um, and then we're also gonna want these dudes as well. So I'll make this between episodes and I'll also get ready to do a cobble works. So I'm gonna like figure out all the different machines I need. And uh, I'm assuming I have some kind of cobblestone generator of some sorts. We have one from, that doesn't look too bad. Some steel plates and some buckets. I could pull that off. 16 cobble per second, more than enough, I would say. Um, you know, obviously 128 is always nice, but 16 should be sufficient. Okay, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Come back next time. Uh, take it easy.